Children among 12 dead after boat carrying migrants capsizes. A pregnant woman and several children are among 12 people who died after a boat carrying dozens of migrants capsized off the French coast, in the English Channel. Most of the dead were female, French Interior Minister Gerald Darmanin said, adding that two more people were missing. More than 50 people were rescued off Cape Greenes, near Boulogne-sur-Mer, the French Coast Guard reports. Two are said to be in critical condition. The boat was overloaded and fewer than eight people wore life jackets, according to Mr. Darmanin, the disaster is the deadliest loss of life in the channel this year. One source suggested a Syrian smuggler might have been involved. Local prosecutor Guarek Lebras said officials believed the victims had been primarily of Eritrean origin though they could not yet specify the exact nationalities. Before Tuesday's incident, 30 people had already died crossing the channel in 2024, the highest figure for any year since 2021, when 45 deaths were recorded, according to the UN's International Organization for Migration. Mr. Darmanin said French authorities were preventing 60% of small boat departures. But people smugglers are cramming up to 70 people on vessels which used to carry 30 to 40 people, leading to deadlier shipwrecks. He urged the UK and EU to agree a treaty on migration to curb small boat crossings. UK Home Secretary Yvette Cooper described the incident as horrifying and deeply tragic. The gangs behind this appalling and callous trade in human lives have been cramming more and more people onto increasingly unseaworthy dinghies and sending them out into the channel even in very poor weather, she said. The effort to dismantle these dangerous and criminal smuggler gangs and to strengthen border security is so vital and must proceed apace, she added. Steve Smith, CEO of Care for Calais, a charity set up to aid migrants in Calais, said, these tragedies have occurred with much more frequency. Every political leader, on both sides of our channel, needs to be asked, how many lives will be lost before they end these avoidable tragedies? The French Coast Guard said helicopters, navy boats, and fishing ships had been involved in the rescue operation. The number of people making the dangerous crossing across the English Channel in small boats has risen, with more than 135,000 people coming to the UK by this route since 2018. More than 21,000 people have crossed the Channel this year. That is more than in the same period in the previous year, but fewer than in 2022. The number of people who crossed in 2022 45,755 was the highest since figures were first collected in 2018. Both Labour and the previous Conservative government have vowed to tackle the problem. UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer cancelled the previous Tory government's plan to send some asylum seekers to Rwanda, which was first announced in 2022 but never put into effect. Sir Keir has vowed to take tougher measures to smash the people smuggling gangs responsible. Downing Street says it has already taken action to target the criminal gangs by recruiting more officers to the National Crime Agency and setting up the government's Border Security Command. But critics say the government should be doing more to offer safe routes for asylum seekers. Amnesty International UK said on Tuesday, no amount of smash the gangs policing and government rhetoric is going to stop these disasters from unfolding time and again if the needs of people exploited by those gangs remain unaddressed.